In D.C. politics, three years ago this week, an Arkansas man died after drinking tea made from poppy seeds he ordered online. The seeds were marketed as natural or unwashed. But the family of Stephen Hakala and Senator Tom Cotton say those seeds expose a loophole in U.S. law that allows powerful drugs to be bought and sold. KNWA's Drew Petromo reports Senator Cotton now has a bill named after Hakala that aims to stop the flow of unwashed poppy seeds into the country. This week is the three-year anniversary of Stephen Hakala's death. His family says it's been hard, but they continue to push for change. They want some good to come from their tragedy. I'm haunted by the knock at the door that, that we had on April 3rd. 2016. It was that day the Hakala family found out their firstborn, 24-year-old Stephen, had died in his sleep. And the three years have been uh, been horrible. Stephen was uh, an, an amazing young man. Stephen died from a morphine overdose after drinking tea made from poppy seeds he ordered online. The seeds are marketed as raw or unwashed, but that means residue from the rest of the poppy plant is left on the seeds, and researchers found some are coated with high levels of opiates like morphine and codeine. In March, another family reached out to us. After Stephen's death, the Hakalas found nearly two dozen other fatal overdose cases that were traced back to poppy seeds. They started working with Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton to stop the sale of unwashed seeds. A year ago, their first step was to contact online researchers Retailers. To date, they're still selling these products. They also asked the FDA and Justice Department to step in. Senator Cotton says they are working on the issue, but he's not willing to wait any longer. This week, Cotton introduced a bill aimed at stopping unwashed poppy seeds from being sold in the U.S. Uh, this is a gap in our law. Uh, they shouldn't be sold in our country. The Hakalas are now taking steps to make sure the law gets passed so that others don't experience their pain. The Hakalas have filed a lawsuit against Amazon.com where he ordered the seeds and Sincerely Nuts, the brand of seeds he got. They say they don't want money. They just want to stop the sale of unwashed poppy seeds. Reporting from Washington, I'm Drew Petromo, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News.